understanding God's salvation plan. God wants to save your soul today. Understanding God's salvation plan, copyright 1994, James Melton, revised 1998, published by the Bible Baptist Church, Sharon, Tennessee. James L. Melton, pastor. Ordering information and additional copies of this booklet may be obtained through the address below. A 12 cent donation per booklet is appreciated but not required. And there might be more now. You might want to check it out. Bible Baptist Church, 125 East Maple, Sharon, Tennessee, 38255. Introduction. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men. For that all have sinned. Romans 5.12 But God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10.9-10 For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10.13 only God knows how many dear souls have been led to the Lord Jesus Christ by the above verses of Scripture. These verses, commonly referred to as the Romans Road, are used worldwide by Christian workers in an effort to present God's salvation plan to the lost in a step-by-step -step fashion. The Romans Road is, a wonderful, is wonderful for getting straight to the point and dealing with the primary issues of sin and salvation. Millions have come to know Christ after reading these verses, including myself, and it is our prayer that millions more will come to know him in the future. But there is a problem because of the habitual use of such a quick and easy portions of Scripture. More and more Christians are developing a very shallow concept of New Testament salvation. Time and time again, I find myself speaking with people who profess to be saved, and yet they aren't sure about their eternal destiny. Many of these people can tell of a specific time in their life when they prayed and asked the Lord Jesus to come into their heart and save them, but still today they live in a state of uncertainty. This should not be happening. Then there are others who have never been saved and really do not understand the need to be saved. Someone says, well, they probably just don't care. Yes, that's often the case, but not always. I believe there are many people who would like to have a better understanding of Jesus Christ and the salvation what, that he offers. And I believe that many such people will receive Christ once they truly understand their need for him. Friend, if you fit into one of these categories, this tract is for you. This tract has been written for the sole purpose of helping other people understand New Testament salvation. Whether you're saved or lost, this track can help you. So why not set aside a little time and read the following pages prayerfully and carefully. You will not be disappointed. Luke 11, 9 through 10.